Jermaine Ramez has been in labor for six hours. She has preeclampsia, high blood pressure, dangerous for both mother and baby. Breathe, breathe. Now push, yeah, push. Fortunately, she safely delivers a healthy baby boy, Stanley. Giving birth in Haiti is risky. It has the highest maternal mortality rate in the Western Hemisphere. Only a quarter of births are supervised by skilled medics. But Jermaine and her baby are lucky. She's been looked after in a specialist maternity hospital. It's built entirely out of shipping containers. It was created as a rapid response to the devastation caused by the earthquake, which put many health centers out of action. There was a need. Uh, the hospital in which we were in prior to the earthquake, uh, unfortunately, the structure was no longer safe. This 120-bed facility is one of four container hospitals built by Médecins Sans Frontières in Haiti for local doctors and nurses. A container hospital like this can be set up in five or six months. All of the, the, uh, the electrical furnishings uh, that you see, uh, the, uh, the air conditioning units, for example, uh, all of the plumbing as well, this all came as part of the package. These services create safe, hygienic workspaces for the Haitian staff. It's very, very important for us to have a proper working conditions for our, our lab uh, techs. It has a cold chain, uh, so fridges, uh, freezers. Um, to, for example, here we have our, our, our blood bank. The hospital specializes in caring for mothers whose lives or those of their babies are in danger. This woman has complications in her pregnancy, so her baby is being carefully monitored using ultrasound. Your baby is normal. He looks okay on the scan. When he is born, we love to take him for tests to check that he doesn't have any respiratory problems. Over 300 babies are born here every month. Many of them are small and weak, so this neonatal ward is designed to give them the special care they need. These children are all born premature. They really need intensive care 24 hours a day. Basic incubators have replaced the more sophisticated ones that were lost in the earthquake. Life remains extremely challenging in Haiti. But for today at least, Jermaine is able to just enjoy her first moments with her baby.